today we're going to do a quick uh, video or as quick as possible as I can do it uh, talking about the match I shot two weeks ago uh, the Gunslinger match it was a PRS gas gun series everything that's on the table on the side and behind me was some of the gear or most of the gear that I took that uh, I used uh, so let's go through just a, this is the match book right here so just so we can go through some of the stages very quick we're going to stage one all right, it was sponsored by Realtree. It had a blind. Uh, you had to start seated, shooting off a tripod. You either use your own tripod or they provided uh, a really right stuff, pretty nice tripod. And basically, uh, on, on the uh, command, engage five targets near to far, uh, up to four rounds. So you had up to four rounds per each target to get two hits. Um, uh, it says if the target is not hit after four rounds, you must move on. So the way that this this uh, gas gun series worked was uh, some targets you had four opportunities to get two impacts. Uh, some you had one uh, one opportunity to get one impact, and then uh, some you had three to get one or two impacts. Uh, basically, if you got a miss, guys, you got thirty seconds added to your time on top of the time that you accumulated taking those shots. So it was it was pretty interesting, um, but basically stage one the targets were from uh, target one was two twenty one, target two was three sixty nine, target three was four uh, ninety three, target four was four uh, five eighty, and target five, which they call the Sasquatch, was at seven forty. All right, there's my dope card. I have all my dope there. Uh, so that was stage one. Pretty interesting, guys. I'll take a picture. Uh, there is some photos that I have of um, the stuff that I used. This rail right here came in pretty handy because uh, I, I, uh, I didn't have to use the, uh, the really right stuff clamp, kind of like the pig saddle type setup, which gives you a little bit of wobble. Uh, I locked in straight to the Arkham mount and it was as solid as can be before. All right, so let's go to stage two. Uh, stage two was a really fun and really fast stage. You had uh, about nine, 75 seconds. You had unlimited round count, and you had basically uh, six pigs and one coyote target. Uh, they were all within, uh, I think, like five or six yards, maybe ten yards. So. They jump from like 427, 429, 425, 428, 431, 438, and 426. So they were very, just very close. Uh, for my dope, you can see that it's a difference of between, uh, I think it's between, yeah, two tenths of a mil. I dialed in between, held over, held under. Uh, so it was pretty good, it was a pretty fast stage. Um, that was a fun stage as well. Stage three, tunnel vision. I don't really remember the stage. All right, tunnel vision, I believe, yeah. So this is, I'm gonna post a picture of that one. That's the one where I'm shoot, using the tripod and I'm holding on to it and I clipped on. And basically you have three targets, two minute time frame. You have a 566 dipstick out of one uh, barrel. Basically it's a 55 gallon blue barrel, or sorry, 55 gallon blue barrels. They cut off uh, each end and you shoot through it. Um, you have to be, the muzzle has to go through the barrel, um, or the gun can be in the barrel, whatever. Uh, first target was 566, second target was 390, and uh, fourth target was 480. You see I have my dope written on the, on the page there. I was shooting a 223 70 grain nozzler that I loaded, uh, RDF, and they're about 2770. Stage four, the PRS standard PRS barricade. Basically, it's a barricade. Um, it's got four positions. It's got uh, about 26 inches, 32 inches, or something like that. And um, you do two, 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 um, and you had 90 seconds, eight rounds. So you did not have the ability to make up a shot on this stage. Uh, Ten inch plate at 400 yards. All right. Stage four was called par four. Okay, so par four was my, I think it's like, 
The middle stage, yes, I remember this stage. Okay, so this stage is pretty interesting. On this stage, they uh, they included some pistols. You would start off with, um, unfortunately, you didn't start off with the holster. You start off with a little ready uh, with a pistol. You had uh, like ipstick targets, ipstick, and then a circle, and you had to do two, 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 clear the gun, dump it in the uh, in the dump area, and then you had to shoot. Uh, uh, four targets. You had three rounds per target to make an impact. First target was uh, 164, second target was 404, third target was 469, and the fifth target was a 522. Alright, pretty fast stage. I believe some guys did that in the low 20s. The other uh, stage six was called Joe's Tire Terror. Joe's Tire Terror, there it is. That's what it uh, Basically, you shot off uh, some NASCAR tires that came off the Geico car uh, from some uh, race. So it was uh, pretty interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll put some pictures. Um, I'll cut into some pictures of that. So the stage, you basically shot the tires. There was uh, two targets. You had three attempts uh, to make an impact. And you had to engage. Uh, um, you had to engage two targets near to far. Three attempts. So yeah, to get one impact, and then you had to repeat the repeat on all four tires. I had four tires set up for different things. You had the first target at th at six uh, six thirty two, and the second target at seven fifty. So you can see my dope is right on there. Alright, the seventh is called the tank trap, so basically it's a big uh, block of woods. Um, this was a really fun uh, stage, you had two minutes to, comp uh, to do it, and it was uh, target one was 261, target two was 227, and target three was uh, 364, and then you have to come back, so you have to go uh, two, two, or one, 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 so you have to just do that. And it was a pretty fun stage at two minutes to complete that. Of course, this is all time plus, so you had to do it a lot faster. Uh, just that was your time limit. Alright, stage eight was called Barrel Rider. This was the first stage I shot of the match. It was a pretty interesting one. Uh, they had, I believe it was uh, two barrels, one up, one sideways, and you had to shoot from it. Uh, they basically had two targets, and you had you know, far with two impacts and then two targets with two impacts. Okay, so basically you had two, 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 uh, and it was an 18 round uh, count. Uh, basically, target one was 364, target two was 458. The win was pretty uh, solid here. Shooter will have three rounds to achieve. Stage 10 was a modified 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, pretty fast stage. Uh, again, this was one of those where the uh, targets were so close together that my dope was basically a, a tenth. So I dialed to the middle target, which was 1.3, and then I held over and under uh, by a tenth of a mil. So it wasn't even that serious of a deal. All right, so stage one, uh, target one was 3.30, target two was 3.20, and target three was 3.16, and then you had to start again from 316, 320, and all that. So, yeah, two minute unlimited round count. So, this was a pretty fast stage. I had fun with it. Uh, barn over under. This was one of those stages where I 
did horrible. Uh, I had dropped the scope. I had actually dropped the rifle. My rifle had actually rolled off the hood of the car while I was staging the rifle uh, twice. And uh, but then I shot that stage and I shot the other stage and it's fine. So I don't think I was able to get stable enough to get impacts here uh, uh, for this stage. So basically, uh, you have to move through five different positions um, on different hay barrel uh, hay bales that were in the barn. And target one was 534, and target two was uh, 293. You had 30 round count, and you had a two timer. I didn't do well that stage, or at the end of the day, I don't think I'll ever get stable enough. Um, And then they had a, a pistol arrow stage, which was an all pistol stage. Basically, uh, 16 pistol targets. If you dropped one, you were pretty much scarred. Uh, they would add a 15 second penalty. It was one for one, go big or go home. Uh, the guys from Grunstyle did allow you to buy a mulligan uh, if you wanted to. Uh, so basically, it was called pistol arrow. 16 pistol targets, off steel. Uh, you started on a plate rack and you had to transition from a plate rack, big steel, plate rack. Uh, so you, you basically one plate, big steel, plate, you know, just move on back and forth. And then you have to move on to another place, shoot one uh, small popper, and then move on to another one and have a little bit more, uh, like three or four pieces of steel left. Alright. Uh, the other one was called, uh, this was a pretty easy one. Um, it was one of those where you couldn't use your bipod, it was just you had to shoot through a um, kind of like a nine hole wall type deal and the lower ones were just too low and you couldn't get in. You start out with a uh, pistol stage, you had uh, three pistol targets to put two rounds uh, per clear the rifle through that and then you had your first target at 82 yards, uh, second target at 99 and third target at 116. This was one of those stages to get the guys on the bottom to kind of build up some scores because uh, nobody wants to go home. Uh, you know, without getting the impact. So that was a good stage. Another stage, this was called up and down. This was a really tiring stage. Um, and pretty much, uh, you had three targets, uh, 119, 137, and 158. And what you did was you started on top of the bench. You shot the first, you shot the first target with two rounds at 119, went under to 137, came back to 158, and then went back down to 158, came back up to 137, and, and you ended up on the bottom uh, at 119. You had a two minute time limit, 12 round counts, you couldn't get a miss. This was a, a really nice stage, I had fun shooting that one. And that's where this uh, rail came again into play, I was able to slide this back and get a smaller perch on the, on the bench. Um, the other one, the last stage they have on here, um, one stage was cut out due to the fact that somebody had said something, and I, I don't think it was this one. This one, okay, so this one's called the uh, the tree hole. Basically, it was a dueling tree with pistol rounds. Finish that, and then you had uh, you had uh, one target at 90 yards that you engaged. So again, this is one of those stages where you try to get some of the guys to get some points. And it was a really fun stage. They had a nice. Uh, Nice party. I'd like to thank the guys from Grunt Style. I'd like to thank the guys from uh, all the sponsors, Night Force, Hex Mag, of course, Century Products. There's a bunch of sponsor guys. I don't know all of them. They're on the back of my shirt. So I will turn around and you guys can see, of course, uh, some of them were Sergeant of Arms, T-Box Barrels. I met so many incredible guys, so many uh, active snipers and instructors for the military that it was amazing. So. If you have a chance, guys, don't forget to shoot smash. So that'll be part one of this video. Part two of this video, we're going to talk about all the gear that I used and, uh, and specifically what I brought uh, to help you guys know what you have to bring to some of these gas gun matches. All right, guys? Later.